Okay, gross. Other people drink from that, you know. Here's a tip. If you want milk, grab a glass. So, are you excited for your first day at school? I don't understand why you can't just stay dead or missing. People do it all the time. Well, unlike them, you're not actually dead or missing. You're right here. And you can't stay inside all the time. And don't worry about Sarah. It's not like she'll see you at school. Maybe not, but someone can easily tell her that her missing brother is found. Then what? Then I'll have to go back home and relive the nightmare all over again. But unlike before, I'm here with you. You aren't alone. We can do it together. That being said, are you ready to go? As ready as I'll ever be. <sighs> Morning, Jen. Whoa. Aren't you that kid that's on all the missing posters? I guess so. So you found him. You always were the smart one, Jen. Blake, this is Stephanie's fiancé, Ricky. What was he doing here anyway? I mean, pretty suspicious and coincidental for the missing kid to just wind up in our house, right? My house, not yours. It will be mine soon. Ours, more like it. Hey, back off, man. What's all this? See to an item or something? Don't you have a fiancé you should get to? Don't you have a sister you should get to? Blake! Let's just go, before I do something much worse. Ugh. What did you do that for? I was defending you. You're welcome. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm not a damsel in distress. I don't need your help. I can defend myself. You did a real bang-up job there. Who are you talking to, Jennifer? <gasps> Sarah! What are you doing here? We're next door neighbors. I couldn't help but hear. It's just my dad. You know, just regular family stuff. You're a terrible liar, Jennifer. That's you, isn't it, Blake? I'm so glad you're back. I was so worried about you. I can't wait until you come home. Got a secret, can you keep it? Swear this one you say. Better lock it in your pocket, taking this one to the grave. If I show you, then I know you won't tell what I said. Cause two can keep a secret if one of them is dead. Can you guys believe it? Where was he all this time? I don't know, but I'm just so glad that A didn't end up killing him. You'd think he'd be a little happier. He doesn't look very pleased to be hanging out with his sister. Who would be? Sam. Oh, hey, Mike. Ladies. Ew. Did you see the new girl? What new girl? She just enrolled today. Man, oh man, is she fine. Jonathan Preston was assigned to take her on a tour of the school. Come again? Yeah, Johnny's going to be taking her around school and showing her all the cool clubs and classrooms and all that. He'll be busy for the next week or so. But I won't be. A hard pass. What's this girl's name anyway? Madison Summers. Anyways, I'll see you guys around. Hey Heather, wasn't that the name of your stepsister-to-be? You've got to be kidding me. Oh my god, Heather, hi! Oh my gosh, it's so good to see you. It's been like forever. My name is Madison Summers. You must be Heather's friends. Well, you definitely look the part. Whatever happened to that Allison girl? She was so nice. She's dead. Oh, well, we can't have it all, can we, ladies? Ooh, who are those girls over there? That's Brittany and Riley, ultimate bitches. Sounds like my kind of people. Oh, Heather, you just have to introduce me. What do you want, Hefty? Brittany, Riley, this is Madison, my stepsister-to-be. Charmed. OMG, Heather, where have you been hiding this beautiful creature? She's related to you. Not by blood, thank God. I just moved here to Shadow Valley High today. You girlies definitely seem more my speed. Let's do lunch. Oh, there you are, Madison. A little eager, aren't we? I'm sorry, Johnny. I just saw Heather and I got so excited. You two know each other? Yeah, she's my girlfriend, actually. Heather, sweetie, you never told me you have such man candy of a boyfriend. Must have escaped my mind. Come on, Johnnykins. You can sit with us at lunch. Come along, girls. She's been here a whole ten minutes and she's already acting like she owns the place. Ugh, that bitch! I better follow her before she does something stupid. Hey, Veronica. Oh, hey, Shayna. Yes? Can we talk? I suppose. I'll see you guys later. Why won't you talk to me? I thought we had a connection. Then all of a sudden you just don't talk to me ever? You keep on ditching me? I'm not like you, Shayna, okay? 
It didn't seem that way when we kissed. When are you going to quit lying to yourself? What do you want from me? I just want you to be honest. Please. You owe me at least that. Meet me after school? I guess so. Wow, Damien. I never knew you were so muscular. Do you work out? Yeah, every day. I see. And it's definitely doing wonders for the bod. You should come over tonight. We can watch a movie or not watch a movie. Wink, wink. Damien! Oh, hey, Samantha. Really? Samantha! Oh, I'm sorry, Damien. I didn't know you and Samantha had a thing. Well, we weren't really official. Great. So I guess that means you are free tonight. My schedule's always open. Samantha. Samantha, can we just talk? You know what? You nightstones are all the same. You all think you can just play around with people and manipulate them? Act nice one second and then stab me in the back the next? Forget it. I'm not going to let you play me around like Allison. I'm not your doll. Just leave me alone, Damien. Blake, can I ask you a question? What? It's been on my mind since you started living with me. The night Allison went missing, she was wearing your coat. How did it end up on her? How do you know that? We were at Heather's the other night and A sent us a videotape on her laptop. It showed her talking to the camera with the coat you're wearing on her. How did that happen? I was taking a walk because I just needed to ease my mind a little bit. And I ran into Allison in the forest. She was alone and she looked cold. I used to kind of have a thing for her, so I offered her my jacket, and she took it. No big deal. Why? That's it? Yeah. Alright, so we've marked you off the A-list. So if it wasn't you who killed Allison, then who was it? There's my favorite sister-in-law. You're just in time. And look, you brought the mutt with you. What do you want, Ricky? I suggest you come inside. Your dad and your sister is waiting for you. And you can even bring your friend, too. I'm sure he'd love to see this. There he is, Daddy. That's the guy to hit Ricky. Oh, really? Just who do you think you are, son? You come into my home and hit my son-in-law? I don't think so. You're not welcome here. And you never were in the first place. My poor Ricky Kins. <laughs> that is so like you, Jennifer. To bring in some tough guy to come beat up my fiancé. You always were so jealous of me. Oh, please, you're delusional. Daddy, I want him out of here. You heard her. If you ever come one step in this house ever again, I'll kill you. Understand? Aye, aye, Captain. Blake, please, don't go. You've got to be out of your mind, Jen. You really want this trailer trash to be in our house? He's probably coated in fleas. Stand down, Jennifer. That's an order. As you were, son. Blake! Jennifer! Jennifer! You come back here this instant. No, Dad. For once, I'm gonna make my own decision. I'm gonna do something that makes me happy for a change. Jennifer, if you don't get back in this house this instant, you're never stepping foot in it again, do you hear me? I hear you loud and clear. She always was a disappointment to the family. Why'd you want to meet me here? Because we have a connection, Veronica. You can't deny it forever. I'm just so scared. What if no one accepts me? Listen, your three friends, they're so close to you. Nothing as small as this is going to change that. They'll love you no matter what. And so will I. Just trust me. I'm not going to force you to come out, but if you do, you'll feel so much better. You'll have such a weight off your shoulders. I was scared too when I came out. But when I did, it was amazing. You just feel so free. Free. What is freedom anymore? Just trust me, Ron. Okay, I just have to go at my own pace. That's totally understandable. I did that too. Just trust me. Did you hear that? Hear what? I thought I heard a camera or something. Veronica, you're being paranoid. There's no one out there. Okay.